Sagittarius. Welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin. And Sagittarius, today, let's do an energy check-in. Let's just check in on the collective. Let's see what's going on with Sagis, the energy around you. Okay, we have between worlds. One foot in the door, one foot out the door. You could have a decision to make. You may not have fully made it, or maybe you've made it. You just haven't fully executed it. Let's find out. Let's see what's going on. Let's talk about your Sag. Let's get the emphasis right now. Where is it? Cancer. It could be your family. Okay. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern a family, a mother, or a child. Okay. So you might have a decision to make here that affects your family members or um, maybe family members forcing you out the door here. <laughs> Let's talk about a Sag. Let's see what's going on. Let's get into your reading. Or maybe you're just simply dealing with the Cancer. Yeah. We have Queen of Wands. There's you. All right, and Saj, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. We have the lovers. I do feel you have a decision to make. Now, the lovers could be a relationship. Ooh, there's the world. Okay, okay. What else we got? So Aries, Leo, Saj energy. We have Gemini energy. Nine of Swords in reverse, letting something go. Two more here for Saj, and we'll get into this reading. I saw the magician. But he didn't come, so he didn't fly out and make an appearance here. Uh-oh. We have the Tower. So Scorpio energy. We got some big changes. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is an element. Yeah, there's a Three of Pentacles. There is the Seven. You're being very strategic here. There's the Four of Cups. I do feel you're making a decision that affects your family members, but it's this element when I've seen this. It's an element of you're not going to let distractions stop you anymore from getting what you want. I feel you've had an epiphany, a, a shift here in maybe your energy, maybe the way you're looking at something or going about something here. Let's start this reading. Let's start with the Queen of Wands. Um, but I feel it's like you're not going to let distractions stop you anymore, Sag. The Nine of Swords, I'm going way out of order. I don't usually do that. The Nine of Swords in reverse is like letting go of old stories, old dogmas, old habits, old patterns. So it's basically... You've had this really huge realization and epiphany. It very well could be that a family member is holding you back or you're using that as an element um, of a distraction to prevent you from getting what you want. Mm, okay, okay. Take it how it goes. But let's get into your reading and see what this all means. <laughs> so let's start this with the Queen of Wands. I do feel it's you. Um, but what do we need to know about Sagittarius? What's the... Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. The world's in reverse here. Yeah, okay. Um, there's the Three of Cups. Hold what just fell out here? Okay, there's the Hierophant and the Four of Cups. Okay, what's on the bottom? Hold on. What's on the bottom, Saje? Two of Pentacles. There's your Between Worlds energy here. So, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the world's in reverse. So, let me put these cards in the proper order. I can't even remember their order, but irrelevant. Oh, wait, it's backwards for you. Do, 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 do. You are realizing that, you know, your situation that you're in, whether it's a relationship with a lover, it could be a relationship, it could be a friendship. You know, some of our friends are like family. It could be a family member. It could be children. It could be parents. It could be brothers, sisters. There's an element of something about your current situations holding you back and stopping you from reaching your full potential, right? Let's say you're trying to start a business. You got five kids and you homeschool four of them and they're always at home. They're always there. You never get, you know, it's just a distraction. Those kids are holding that element. Maybe you got to put your kids in public school or hire a tutor. Um, you know, it's, it's, so it's an element of the way that the situation is right now for you, stopping you from living to your fullest potential, getting everything that it is that you want. You know what it is that you want, though. You know it. So, you know, it could be like you're a stay-at-home mom. I don't know. I, I guess because I'm going out family. You know, you're a stay-at-home mom, but you don't want to be anymore. You want your kids in school. You want to go out and work. You want to create. So it's this element of, you know, if you're in a relationship, maybe you want to travel the world. You want to be a gypsy and your partner doesn't want to. They just want to stay where you are. I'm here in California, New York, and they don't want to travel, but you do. So it's this element of... This situation that you're in, it revolves around your home life and your family, is stopping you from living the way you want. It's stopping you from getting everything that you want. So you're not living up to your potential and getting your ten of pentacles, right? Um, and that's why you're between worlds here. You're wondering what you can do. Do you need to leave this relationship? Uh, do you need to put your kids in school? Do you need to hire them a tutor, put them in daycare? So, or, you know, tell your parents that... Um, you know, maybe it's a teenage kid, get out of the house, go get a job, you know, so whatever it is, Sagittarius, it is an element of, huh, how do you get what you want? <laughs> you know, one foot in the door, one out for the door. You know, you got to make changes. How can you go about making these changes? 
and let's talk about the world. So the lovers is the decision that, so the decision's been made. You know you want this. You know you want to go after this, but your current situation is holding you back. Um, what's the world element here? You could be page of wands. The, whoa, okay. Two, okay. Uh, don't know what fell over there, so one moment I shall track that down. Three of wands. Okay. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. What is it? Oh, Nelly! Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, let's get situated. Let's get comfortable. Let's get back into tarot reading position. Um, well, your Seven of Swords is in reverse. So you're now sharing your personal feelings here. <laughs> you're, you're ending a relationship, Sagittarius. Um, it's what you got to do to get where you, yeah, you are. Look at this, you are. You're making the decision to end this relationship. So for those of you, you know, if it's a partner, uh, you're definitely uh, leaving this partner. You're making the decision to end this. If this is a job, maybe you're being held back at your job, right? Um, if it's a family business, <laughs> you're, you're ending this. If it's a friendship, if it's like your parents and they're living at your house, you're going to be saying, listen, mom and dad, you got to get your own place. If you're a teenager, your kid's 30, they got to get their own place. So this is an element, Sagittarius. If you've made the decision, you've now walked out to the door and you've closed the door, you made the decision and you're letting this person know. Uh, you're letting this go. This is a huge change and I kind of feel like you're just saying, listen, this is a distraction. You're holding me back. Like, let's say you're, you know, in your 20s and your partner's drinking too much and, you know, you want to save your money and buy a house. They're holding you back. It's a distraction. It's not where you're meant to be. It's not what you want and you're ending it and you're doing what's best for you. You know, with this three of pentacles, it's like an energy of, you don't feel, yeah, it's, there's not an equal give and take. You know, Saj, you're not living to your full potential and you're not going to get you what you want where you are. This whole reading is about notifying this person and making the decision to actually make the change. It tells me you've been contemplating this for quite some time. You know that you're not going to get where you want to go, but you're connected, right? Emotionally, loyal, whatever you have, there's a connection here. Uh, but you can't let this person hold you back anymore. That's the energy around Sag right now. You got some big changes, but you are initiating these changes because you want to... Well, you want to be happy. You want to live to your fullest potential, right? The saddest thing in life is... is growing old and not really living. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. You want to live and you want to live to your potential and you're not going to let distractions stop you. Is there anything else you want to say here to Sag? Anything else? Two of swords. Yeah, it's time to make that decision. Uh, yeah, you've taken, <laughs> Sag, you've pondered this long enough. If this is your reading, you've been thinking about it, you've been contemplating it. You're going after it, baby. You're making it happen. So I do feel like you've been contemplating this long enough. And it is time to make that decision. And this reading is really about making that decision um, and, and going after this. Now, is there going to be any reaction or anything from the person that Sag is either breaking up with or the business Sag is quitting or the friendship or, you know, is there going to be, let's just see how the person's going to, let's just find out if there's a, there's the world. Hold on. The high priestess. No, it'll be pretty peaceful. Oh, okay. It, well, it, there's the lovers. There's the five of wands. Um, there's the Ace of Swords, there's the, the Eight of Cups, and there's the High Priestess. So I, I think, you know, there's the relationship, friendship, there's the argument, there's just speaking your truth, saying what needs to be said, there's walking away, and there's peace. So I don't see any drama, I don't see any revenge, I don't see any revenge, someone coming to get you, they're lurking in the background. It's just an element of, you know what, you're probably right, Sagittarius, we're not, we're not on the same page, you're, you know, go after what you want and you do. And I don't even really know if there's a lot of communication between you and this person. But when we look at both of these feminine energies, they feel pretty free. So you thought long and hard about it and you went about it the right way. It tells me you know this person. You're going after what you want, Sag. All right, that's what's up. That's what's going on. That's the energy around the Sagittarius Collective at the moment. So let's grab some oracles. <laughs> let's see what they want to say. And we'll get your potential outcome. We'll see how you're doing, how this move is uh, going, how things are progressing for you. So what does Sagittarius need to surrender to? The beauty of the natural world. All right. So take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Yeah. Maybe can, I get a lot of ideas when I'm out there in the nature. It's fall. It's beautiful, right? But really connect to yourself. On a deeper level. And there's the raven. <laughs> Maybe you'll see some ravens out there. Um, confidence. So you're encouraged to disconnect from the physical or materialistic plane 
and move to the spiritual realm. You have a deep spiritual connection, which you must not ignore. You're on the brink of transformation and your divine purpose might be revealing itself. So part of this, that maybe that's why you've had this pull, this inkling, this, you know, desire for this. It's part of your purpose, Sag. <laughs> it's your little, it's where you fit into the world, your little piece in the puzzle. Okay, this is, uh, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> this is your shadow self. So what does shadow self uh, want to say to Sag? Procrastination. Putting things off becomes a bad habit. So use time management strategies, right? I actually read this thing the other day from like a billionaire that one of the biggest forms of self-sabotage is procrastination. You're not going after what you want. And that actually hurts you and leaves you kind of dreaming and wondering what ifs, right? All right. Well, Sagittarius, let's get down to business. Let's get your potential outcome. I want to say potential. There's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see where you are um, in a month, in a month or so. Let's see how you're doing. Yeah, you got discipline here. We have the eight of pentacles. Okay. You're okay. We have the eight of pentacles. They want, oh, I was going to put it that way, but they want it this way. This must have come out first. The two of pentacles in reverse. Uh, the eight of pentacles. Okay. Can't see those cards. So just give me a moment and we'll, we'll flip them. We'll see what they are. Okay, we end this with the strength. Here we got three of wands, the page of wands, getting creative. How, you're, they're all looking right. Look at like, okay, it's kind of fresh start, new beginning. You're doing good. There's the star. The two of, I wasn't going to look at all these cards, but I saw the stars, so I have to show the in-betweens. Fool, two of wands, queen of cups, and the star. Wish come true, dream fulfillment. So you're making the decision. There's still a little bit of imbalance here, right? The two of pentacles is in reverse. So you're, you're trying to create that balancing act, whether it's balance between work and play, you know, creating this and your children, um, you know, working through your feelings and creating your goals, whatever it is, you're really disciplined here. I feel like you're really hustling. You really got your head down, but you're really still trying to work and create that balance in your life could be within the energies within yourself. It could just be balancing the different aspects. Let's say this is starting a business. You're going after a business. Um, there's going to be a lot of extra responsibilities, obligations, things at the beginning that are going to be challenging. So you're just kind of creating that balance and really showing the hard work, the discipline. That's what the eight of pentacles is. But the eight of pentacles is also progress, right? When we look at the eight of pentacles, he's got some pentacles flying up here in the rider weight deck. It's growing. You know, your sales are coming in. People are noticing your work. There's progress. So your hard work is starting to pay off. There's the page of wands. He's looking right at the three of cups and the strength is looking over there as well. This is a lot of passion. This is a lot of charisma. This is a lot of creativity. So there's what you want not quite here. You're still working on it, but it's a beautiful energy because we had the two of wands, right? When we were making those decisions and the two of wands is planning on your future. It's making the decision to look forward. You're putting things into action and now you're waiting and starting to see the results. Your creativity is paying off. You could be looking at different avenues, looking at different ways, analyzing where you are, how you need to adjust, but you're having the strength and the courage to look at what you want and you're going after it. You're getting creative. The page of wands is a very exciting energy, right? He's the, the kid who just got out of university. He's really excited. He's got this thirst. He's creative. He's excited. He's got all these ideas. And now you're making those things come to life and you're starting to see the results, but you're not 100% there yet. It's going to take time. So you're having your fresh start, you know, exactly what you want. You're focusing on it. You're overcoming your barriers. Um, and you're, you're making, the best decisions for yourself, Sag. You've walked away from a situation. You've walked away from distractions. You're not letting anything stop you. It's a very focused energy right now for the Sagittarius Collective, really working on creating that balance in your life, um, but also having the courage and the strength to go after what you want because no one's going to do that for you. So you're seeing progress. You're seeing potential. You're seeing things happen. Um, when we look at this card, a lot of the rocky times are behind him. So it's smooth sailing to get to what he wants, right? For his merchandise to come in, for his sales to come in, for his love to come in. It's smooth sailing for his ships to come in. The rocky times are over. The hardest part's done. And now you're seeing progress and potential. You're excited. You're happy. You made the right decision, Sagittarius. And that's the most important thing. <laughs> so Sag, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So Sagittarius, I sure hope you enjoyed your reading and resonated with my style and resonated with the reading. And if you do... I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe, helps my channel to grow. So thank you, Sagittarius. Um, I was supposed to go live today for my all signs, but it's, I couldn't get connected. <laughs> I was trying this morning for like an hour and I just gave up. So, um, but I will be doing individual signs a couple times a month from here on out, um, but I'll still be doing my regular all signs readings. Um, 
I'll do it in the next day or two when the weather is still a little bit. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Okay, <laughs> that scared me. All right, let's get into your, let's close your reading off today, Sag, with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What's the answer for Sagittarius? Negativo. Sag, that's what's up. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.